We're back in the hydrogen home kitchen and spring rolls are on the menu. This is one of my mum's famous recipes. So mum, if you're watching, I hope I do them justice. This is a recipe that she actually learned around 30 years ago now when she did a Chinese cooking class with our next door neighbor. So we're cooking with gas. So we're gonna turn our hydrogen stove top on and go in with a good amount of olive oil. We're gonna go in with some garlic and some ginger. And we wanna let this start to lightly warm through and add a really nice perfume to the actual pan itself. A good pinch of salt. And then now we're going to go in with some chicken. So I've got some chicken breast, or you could use tenderloins as well. That's gonna go straight into our pan with some pork mince. So we're gonna add ingredient by ingredient. This does take a little bit of time but you're going to get a huge amount of filling for these actual spring rolls. So we're gonna let the chicken and the pork get a really nice caramelization, let it go golden and crispy and all the things. And then we're gonna go in with the rest of our ingredients. Now I've got prawns, we've got some cabbage, some carrots, some bean sprouts, and then we're gonna go in with some oyster sauce and a little corn flour slurry. So the pork and chicken is gaining a nice color, but Alan, I think you need to come in and have a good look at this pan. And you can see how caramelized everything is getting. We're gonna go in with the prawns now, so they can go straight in. And then we're going to go in with our oyster sauce. And in no time, we're going to have our spring roll filling. Now we're gonna go in next with some carrot, then our cabbage. And the cabbage starts off looking really large and this bowl is filled, but this is gonna cook down and basically wilt down to nothing. Now while that is doing its thing, it's got some corn flour and water. And we're gonna give this a really good mix. And this is going to help thicken our spring roll mixture and make sure that all the moisture comes out from everything in that pan. Last but not least, our bean sprouts. We're gonna let this cook down until that cabbage has wilted and all of those flavors start to marry together. We'll go in with the corn flour slurry and then it's almost time to roll the spring rolls. So it's time to assemble our spring rolls. We've got some store-bought pastry and I'm just going to fold over to create a little bed for our filling. So the filling goes straight on. A few spoonfuls of this. And you almost wanna create a really nice cylindrical shape. And when you're wrapping these, you wanna make sure they're nice and tight so that you don't have any air pockets. So we're going to pop our edges over and then roll and then use our corn flour slurry just at the end here, almost as the glue. So it's just gonna hold everything together and roll and roll. And there we have our first spring roll. So I'm gonna make quite a few of these. I've got some oil heating up behind me and we're gonna deep fry them until they're nice, golden and crispy. Hi. Hi, Bella. How are you going? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. What I made, are you up to? Uh, well, I made some spring rolls. We're just getting oh, your yeah. um, tick of approval. So you can like... Oh, yeah. They look pretty good. They I'll try it good. and I'll just tell you how good they are. Okay. I want to hear the crunch. Oh, well done. Mm. Well, I think they are perfectly cooked because I actually cook them using hydrogen gas. Wow. Very interesting. Mm, anyway. Mm. And this corn to tell you how good they are. Okay, good. Mm. You'll have to make me soon, okay? And I'll leave it on the note that mine are better than yours, but thanks so much for tuning in. Oh, I don't think so. If you oh, want the recipe, you can find it on mymarketkitchen.tv. <laughs> Bye. Bye.